Good morning everyone, happy Tuesday. I uh, just wanted to record a quick video and show you guys uh, basically a feature that was released for beta last night. Um, this was an enhancement to the calendar. So just wanted to quickly walk you through that so you are aware of it, especially those who are currently using the beta version and has uh, and have been playing with the new book me and the new calendar. So um, basically uh, the new feature that was released is uh, duration on services or multiple duration on services. In the past, if you guys you know recall when you had uh, or when you were developing a new service, so in this case, let's say it's a private or you know an introductory lesson, you were able to actually add a duration to it. So, for example, you could say that the introductory classes for adults is always 60 minutes long, and so when you're creating that event, uh, the start and end time would automatically populate for you. Um, so what we've done, we've actually done a new uh, enhancement to that feature to allow multiple durations and prices to be added for a uh, specific event. So how that comes actually handy, it comes handy for events such as uh, basically, let's say, private lessons. So in the past, I showed you guys to create a service 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and 90 minutes for private lesson. Now moving forward, you actually have more functionality and you can do a lot more with that. So as you see, I've changed the calendar for my private lesson and now I just have a Jiu-Jitsu private lesson or so Taekwondo private lesson. Or you could just have one option depending on you know, how your setup is. Now let's go take a look at my setup for the service. So I'm just going to open up Manage Services and I'm going to go into uh, Jiu-Jitsu private. So you have uh, all the values here are the same, the options are the same, and as you see, there's a new section on the price of uh, fees and extras, which you're able to actually again define multiple pricings. So here I can I've set 60 minutes per, and this is where you actually define the time. So I've set 60 dollars per 30 minutes, 80 dollars per 60 minutes, and 100 dollars per 90 minutes, and then you can make these uh, fees online as well if you wish, and you can develop more fees if you have more options available. As, as I've covered before, you can obviously add extras so additional items that you want to add on top of this basically event as well. But in you know this case, we're just not going to do that. And then you press save. So after you set it up this way, what's going to happen, um, I don't need multiple services to define the different durations that I have. I can just go onto Jiu Jitsu, find a time that I want to actually create an event for. So let's say I you know click on here. And as you see, the system will give me the options for different durations that I have, and I, you know, pre, uh, you know, created uh, in advance. So I can say I want a 30-minute appointment, or 60-minute appointment, or a 90-minute appointment. Based on the selection that I have here, the price of this event changes as well. So if I make 60 minutes and you know I add an attendee to it, and I create this event, and when I want to go pay for it, so I would just click essentially on the appointment and click the pay now. When I go to the checkout screen, the system is going to take $80, which was basically uh, the fee for 60 minutes private lesson. So hopefully this helps you to actually even set up the calendar even better than before. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions about this, let me know. Thank you.